stock will long remember when He shinnied up the stock to beard a giant in his den Once up the beanstalk if Jack is set upon Then Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, for Jack your good is gone That's a pretty song, isn't it, Costello? Yes, it is, Abbott. It's the theme song to a story I made up. It's called Jack and the Beanstalk. Wait a minute, I've heard that title before. Are you sure this story is one you made up yourself? Yes, sir. Once upon a time, in a little village far away, there lived a very poor, poor woman in a tiny cottage. All this poor woman had in the world was a son named Jack and a cow. What was the cow's name? Engelbert. Engelbert? Yep, that's a ridiculous name. Well, if the cow don't mind, Abbott, why should you? Now, mind your own business. Go ahead. Now, one day, Jack's mother sent him to town to sell the cow. But on the way, Jack met a man who offered to buy the cow for a handful of beans. Are you sure you made this story up? Yeah, I made it up. Out of your head? What you say? I said, out of your head. And so are you. Now, keep your mouth shut and let me tell a story. So Jack sold the cow for a handful of beans. But when he told his mother what he had done, she was very, very angry. And she threw the beans right out the window. Out the window? Yes. And that hurt Jack. Why? Because he was holding on to them. Now listen, will you? This is where it really gets exciting. That night, out in the garden, the beans began to grow. They twined around each other and grew. Which way did they grow? Which way did they grow? They couldn't grow down. They grew up. And up. And up, until they grew right up into the sky. Oh, Abbott, it was a beautiful blue sky with white clouds. Oh, all right, go on with this story that you made up. The very next morning when Jack awoke and saw the beanstalk growing right through the clouds, he told his mother he was going to climb it. She was afraid, but she believed in him. She had faith. Yes, and what did you say? I said she had a sort of faith. Yes, yeah, she had a sort of faith. And she had two eyes, and a nose, and a mouth, but not half as big a mouth as you got, Abbott! And a loo. So Jack kissed his mother goodbye and started to climb up the beanstalk. He climbed up. Up, 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 there he goes. And up. And up until he climbed right through the clouds. Jack and the beanstalk, there goes Jack. But is Jack ever coming back? At the top of the beanstalk, Jack found a great big castle. He crawled under the castle gate and suddenly he heard footsteps. And what do you think it was? Mice. Yeah. Now, no, no! It was a ferocious giant abbot 50 feet tall. The giant sniffed the air and said, Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. What did Jack say? He said, Fum, fi, fo, fee. Can't be me, I'm from Tennessee. And then the giant said, Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. And what did Jack say? Oh, gosh, I'm in an awful pickle. Wouldn't you rather eat pumpernickel? Then the giant went to the cupboard and took out his harp. He put the harp on the table and said, Play. And all by itself, the harp began to play. Soon the giant grew tired of the magic harp, so he said, Enough! Then he went to a cage in the corner and took out a small hen. This was a wonderful hen that laid golden eggs. A hen that laid golden eggs? What's so wonderful about that? Could you do it? I'll go on with the story that you made up. Then the giant put the hen on the table and said, Lay! Another! Another. 
what? Oh, I'm tired. Mm, so am I. So the giant put his head on a table and fell asleep. Quick as a flash, Jack snatched the hen in the magic hop and ran. <laughs> Now, Abbott, can you guess what comes next? Well, Lou, this is your own original story, but I'd say that the cackling of the hen and the playing of the harp woke the giant. He jumped up and ran after Jack. How did you... But Jack reached the beanstalk first. He tucked the hen and the harp under one arm and took a mighty leap and stood all the way down the beanstalk to the ground. Why? That's... Then Jack grabbed an axe, and before the giant could follow him down, Jack chopped the beanstalk through, and the beanstalk and the giant came crashing to the ground. That's it. But you'd never guess the end. Well, I'd say Jack gave his mother the hop and the hen that laid the golden eggs, and they lived happily ever after. Yeah, that's just how I made up the story. Ah, uh, stop lying, Costello. Everybody knows that story. It's famous. Now, wh why do you do these things? Why do you tell such lies? Oh, I'm a bad boy! Jack and the beanstalk will long remember when He shinnied up the stalk to hear the giant in his day.